Kind of random, but we're taking a snow day up to Pollock Pines. We are just in Placerville right now and it's already snowing. I've only seen snow right here a couple times in the last few years, so it's gonna be deep today. But as you can see, it's already a hot mess and we're just getting into it. Trucks stuck all over the place. People pulling on the side of the roads, putting on chains everywhere, blocking traffic. It gets crazy up here. Everybody from the Bay Area, especially on a weekend like this, come up and just jams up the whole town. But we're gonna see if we can get some recoveries. I'm sure we will. made it past chain control and we are unfortunately behind a big rig and we'll get around him a little space right here let's get over all right let's uh see if we can find some stuck cars i'm sure we will all right we got our first one he was blocking the road four-wheel drives not working just two-wheel drive so let's get it Nice and easy. Uh, for whatever reason, this four-wheel drive is showing that it's engaged, but it's not. Same situation I was having last week. All right, they're good to go. Got them disconnected. Told them just give a little bit of speed and try and get back up that hill over there. At least they're not blocking the road now because they were right in the middle of uh, Highway 50 sideways. People are trying to go around them and that just causes a mess. Uh, about 10, 15 minutes later, we got another one. We're just gonna try and just push it out real quick, see if that works. Where's I'm gonna run into you? Four more gas. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, don't count. Keep going, keep going. All right. Thank you. Send it, send it, keep going. Turn to the right. Keep it going. Don't stop. There you go. He made it. He made it. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, my buddy Corey pulled up. Man, he does the same thing that we do. He's been out here in Pollock doing recoveries for years, just like me. Let's see if we can find somebody else. Came into one of the mobile home parks up here. This area is usually full of seniors and uh some of them get stuck and need help Let's cruise through real quick see if we can find anybody offer some assistance and also plow it down and break trail for those that do want to get out well we are driving on the way to another recovery about a mile or two from here and we ran into this we got two cars off to the side and kind of kind of towards the ditch he's stuck that one stuck Luckily, uh, when we pulled up, this other guy over here is already helping them, so we're gonna get this one out real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Playing a little bit of traffic control right now. We got cars coming from, from both directions. Let's watch out, let's get everybody through real quick. Yeah, we're, we should be good, just pulled up to it. All right. They got him pulling them out right here. We're waiting for traffic to clear, then I'll pull you out. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah. That guy is cool. I just don't want you swinging into oncoming traffic. We'll actually have these guys stop real quick. And then start giving it a little gas. Kinetic rope. 
like butter as always. All right, buddy, you're good to go. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. Just started to get jammed up with traffic though. Let's go see if we can find the recovery we initially were headed this way for. Well, it looks like the local tow company got to that recovery before we did. They're cleaning it up now. It was off the road over here. They winched it back up and now he's sweeping all the debris off the road. Probably about 20 minutes too late, but it was getting pretty backed up going down Pleasant Valley. But uh, turn around and see if we can find another one. Well, there's not much we could actually done with that. That's where they crashed. Uh, that was actually like a legitimate accident scene. The car was totaled on the side, so there's there's not much I could have done with that anyways. I could have got it back on the road, but we're not going to tow it anywhere. So, But sometimes you don't get all the information on these Facebook posts, and I was already headed this direction, so why not go check it out? Back on the road. Let's go find another one. Well, we found this minivan. She's slipping and sliding around a little bit. Traction control is on, so we told him we'll... I'll follow her up to get where she's going. You gotta keep just a little bit of speed because when she starts to go too slow and stop, it just slides down. And I gotta keep my distance as well. That way if I gotta slam on the brakes, I don't go sliding into her. I'm trying to make it up this hill now. She's doing all right, just going pretty slow. I have no idea where we're going. I'm just following her, make sure she makes it there. We're gonna keep on our mission. She barely making it. She's getting off to the side of the road. She barely made that, was spinning the whole way. I told her, turn traction control off. If she didn't turn it off right there, she definitely wouldn't have made that. The car would have given up on her. She'd have lost her little bit of momentum she had. That's where she's going. You good? No problem. You're going that way? Go ahead. Go ahead and let this guy pass. And I think I'm just gonna keep this guy on the hook and it's probably like two miles of this, but there's no way he's making it up these hills like that. All right, we pulled him up to the top of the hill, but I think we may still have one or two more hills in front of us. I can't really remember. But I told him I'll follow him down to the main road. And once he makes a right, he should be good to go after that, so. You know, this is what we're out here doing. We have no game plan. We're just literally hunting for recoveries, trying to help out wherever we can. Fun times. So that guy said he's been stuck since 11.30 a.m. this morning. It's now almost five o'clock. So the sheriff's passed him, Caltrans passed him. Nobody could help. AAA won't come out here right now. I mean, there, there's even a plow stuck in the ditch down the road. So it gets pretty bad. We definitely just saved his ass right there. He was very grateful. That's why we do it though. Let's go find the next one. Uh, there's nobody in it. There's nothing we can do with that one, but uh, you gotta be careful out here. And luckily there was trees right there and he didn't go all the way down the hill. Could have been bad. Rolled over, you get trapped. I mean, 
It's all bad, very dangerous. We just cleared the freeway of like five vehicles that were pulled over trying to put chains on. These guys were stopping in the road on Highway 50. The cars were coming around a blind corner like it was about to be mayhem. And I was like, keep going, you can't stop here, keep going. But everybody stopped putting it on chains. I mean, we're in the middle of the road right here. This is not a safe area to do that. And then if they try and pull over in this stuff, they get stuck. Uh, it's turning into a hot mess. That's that's what I do. I usually film everything. We don't charge anything. We do it for fun, but I like to film it. <laughs> we can blow it off the level. 18 tons propane truck slid off the side right here. Let's see. Got some big tow hooks, so we're good. But, uh, yeah, he's up against the burn. My game plan is snatch block off of this tree. See if we can just slide the front end over. I don't know if it's going to work, but my buddy just happened to randomly pull up. We're going to use him as an anchor. All right, this is how we got it set up. We got the line running out. Tree saver, snatch block on that end, coming right back to the front end of this guy with a soft shackle on it. <laughs> it's getting dark, but uh, see if see if it moves. It'll probably drag both me and him in because he's anchored off back here. So let's see. She's coming through. There she goes. Got the Toyota engine back there to the back of the Jeep. And the kinetic one inch clerk rope. What he was stuck in. Looks like he went to go pull in. Pulled in. Looks like just kind of slid over into this little ditch right here, slash little hole, whatever this is right here. Just good old Rhino USA, though, man. Got it done. He was on the brakes at the first, so I didn't want to move it too well, but uh. Once he gave it just a little bit of gas and assisted with it, got it right out. Let's see if he makes it without sliding. There it is, boys. He said it was 18 tons, fully loaded, 36,000 pounds. We just slid that thing over. Thanks, man. Perfect timing, huh? Yeah. <laughs>